UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT, Problem Solved. It's a cherished oasis, tucked inside a bustling city. I'm fishing. I really like nature, and I have a favorite tree, and I really like playing here. Beloved by visitors young and old, from near and far, and all walks of life. It's pretty amazing, actually. As a photographer, I can barely take two steps without seeing something that I haven't seen before, and that's, that's really interesting. It's an appreciation shared far and wide, with the organization Best Colleges Online declaring the UW Botanic Gardens one of the best university gardens in the country. That includes the UW Center for Urban Horticulture, home to a research facility and wildlife refuge, and the 230-acre Washington Park Arboretum, home to one of the most important tree collections in North America. We're walking into Rhododendron Glen, which is one of the oldest parts of the Arboretum. The award was met with gratitude, but not necessarily surprise, by the UW Botanic Gardens director, Dr. Sarah Reichert. It's a great thing for us, but I'm not surprised, because we're good. We're huskies. <laughs> But Dr. Riker says this award was particularly special. One of the things I liked about that ranking was that it wasn't a beauty contest, that they actually ranked us on important things like how many endangered species are part of our collection and what kind of education and outreach programs we have. So it really was significant. I mean, they, were, they were weighting us on real things that matter. And this tree was known to science through the fossil record, but it was believed to be extinct. And in the 1940s, it was discovered in a remote area of China. And no one knows better just how well-deserved that recognition is. Dr. Reichert has spent nearly her entire career here, starting as a graduate student collecting plant specimens in 1986 and working her way up to director. It's beautiful. The people are wonderful. We can do so many good things for the community and the region here. Why would I leave here? It's perfect. She lives and breathes these plants and trees their Latin monikers rolling off her tongue like family names. This is a big leaf maple, Acer macrophyllum, uh, one of the most common trees in Seattle. And like so many families, the relationships behind these gardens can be a bit complicated. The Arboretum is co-owned and operated by the University and the City of Seattle, with support from the Arboretum Foundation. The city owns the land, the university owns the trees and manages the programs, and the park department manages the park functions. This beautiful place is actually a very complicated place that takes a lot of work to keep it looking like this, but all of the three partners are enthusiastic about what we're doing here and uh, want to see everything succeed here. You see a lot of tussock grasses here. As you can imagine, it's no easy task maintaining all these grounds and overseeing all its programs. There's never enough time or funding to do everything that needs to be done, and it's a constant challenge to manage it all. But for Dr. Reichert, it's a labor of love. Even when I'm sitting in front of the computer, I always, after lunch, I get up and I walk around and just look at things and you know, stretch my legs a little bit and enjoy that I work in such a beautiful place. No matter where I'm working any day, I've got a beautiful place to go out and enjoy. A garden for all seasons, adored by staff and visitors alike, which never ceases to amaze. It's so magical and it reconnects us with the magic within all of ourselves. Too, to be out here.